Howdy dupes. Today we're going to be replacing the vapor canister purge valve on a 2010 Mercury Milan. Uh, this has got the four cylinder uh, engine and this is also the premier model. This is something anybody can do. A couple of bolts right on the front of the motor uh, so it's easy to get to. Anybody can do it right in their driveway. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so here we're looking at the uh, front of the car and the engine. Right here is our sensor. We've got a bolt here and a bolt right there. One wiring harness and a hose. And that is all there is to it. So we're going to get the tools ready and we'll get it ready to get this replaced. All right, there's going to be an eight millimeter bolt. Right. This is loosened up. I'm going to go ahead and take off this wiring harness to get it out of the way. And it's got little clips. Okay, these little clips, we just need to push them in and back to unlock it. Pull out that lock, and that will just slide right off the top there. Finish taking our, our bolts here. Should be all there is to it. We'll pop her out. There she is. Alright, there's our old one. Got our new one here. There's the part number. Um, you'll also be able to find links to all the uh, parts and tools that I've used uh, in the description below. Alright, here's our new purge valve. So, pop that right into place. Restart our bolts. We don't want to go gorilla on these because they are just screwing into the plastic here. Uh, it does feel like there's a metal insert but Everything is plastic all around it, so it's not going to be overly uh, overly durable. Okay, got our extension here just so we can grab onto it. Right, finish tighten these down. Alright, now we'll plug in our hose, engage our lock, there we go, and hook up our wiring harness here, and that is all it takes. Uh, your check engine light is on. Uh, realistically, you shouldn't have to reset it. The new sensor should uh, turn that light off as soon as it does its checks and confirms that it's working now. And uh, But if you prefer to have uh, a clear slate where you force it and then just let the computer relearn everything, that's okay too. Alright, that's all there is to her. So, have a good day. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, until next time.